Guys, in the latest version of Tailwind CSS, that is version 4, there have been significant changes in how we use Tailwind CSS in our React applications. So in the previous video, I have covered how we can configure Tailwind CSS version 4 into React apps with all the changes that have happened in the latest version. I'll be leaving a link to that video in the description. In this video, we are going to see what changes have been made in Tailwind CSS version 4 if we want to use plugins in Tailwind CSS. So stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code and see how we can install Tailwind CSS plugins in version 4. So guys, I'm here in my Visual Studio code and I already have set up a Tailwind CSS in this application. So you can see here that I have assigned a basic Tailwind CSS classes to this Hello World application where I say that the text is going to be 50 pixels and height is going to be 200 VH. So here on the screen, we can see Hello World and we can see the scroll bar coming on this side because height is 200 VH. So the first thing that we have to understand is why do we even need plugins in Tailwind CSS? So in Tailwind CSS, there are some inbuilt classes if you want to change the text size, if you want to change height of the screen. For example, if I want to change the text color, there is an inbuilt class which I can use. I can say text is going to be red, 500. This is going to change the text color. But for some features in Tailwind CSS, there are no inbuilt classes. And that's where we need to use plugins that can extend the functionality of Tailwind CSS classes. So one of the example is that if I want to style this scroll bar, there is actually no Tailwind CSS inbuilt classes where I can say that scroll bar is going to be some specific color, let's say red 500, because there is no inbuilt scroll bar class in Tailwind CSS. So that's where we need to use Tailwind CSS plugins. To style the scroll bar, I'm just going to treat it as an example and we are going to see how we can install plugins into this React app. So here in my terminal, I'm just going to install my scroll bar plugin. I'm just going to say here npm install tailwind scroll bar, which is basically a plugin that we can use to extend the functionality of tailwind inbuilt classes because there is no scroll bar class inbuilt in tailwind CSS. So now this plugin is installed and to use it in the application, I'm just going to open the list of files that are here. So in the previous version, which was version three, there was a Tailwind config file and that's where we used to import all the plugins. But in Tailwind CSS version four, there is no config file. So we are going to import all our plugins directly in index.css. And here in index.css to import a plugin, I'll be using a keyword that is at the rate plugin and that's where I'm just going to mention the plugin that I want to import which is tailwind scroll bar and I'm just going to save this so now that we have imported our plugin in index.css we should be able to use it here and style our scroll bar so to style this scroll bar we are going to make some changes here so here I'm just going to make height as screen which is basically going to get rid of the scroll bar because this container dev tag is equal to the screen height so scroll bar is actually not required but here the div tag that is inside it we can increase the height of this div tag to 200 vh and this is going to again need a scroll bar but not because of the main container but because of the div tag that is inside it which is having a height of 200 vh basically two times the screen height and on the main container we can use our scroll bar class like that so i'm just going to put a keyword here scroll bar and we are going to say overflow y is going to be auto and we can say that the scroll bar is going to be thin this is going to bring back the scroll bar with a thin version of it and we can change the color of the scroll bar by doing something like scroll bar track is going to be red 200 and scroll bar um is going to be red 500 now the scroll bar classes are actually working because we have imported our tailwind scroll bar plugin in index.css if we are not using this plugin these classes are not going to work because they are not the inbuilt classes in tailwind css they are coming from this plugin which is tailwind scroll bar so guys that's how we use plugins in tailwind css version 4 which is very different from how we did it in version 3 so that's all i wanted to cover in this video if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one